The way that we've approached this is to develop videos that cover some of the material that we would ordinarily be presenting during class time and to show those videos in advance of class. So they see these video segments which are five to ten minutes in length when there can be multiple segments per lecture. And for each segment we then have a series of questions that the students answer um, that test their comprehension of that material. And we actually use a combination of multiple choice questions, which are good concept checks for the students, and usually they get those right. And in addition, we use some open-ended questions, which allow them to think a little bit more deeply about the material, and which they don't always get as right. And that gives us the opportunity to uh, get a sense of where the challenges are that the students are facing, so that we can then try to address them better during class time. Um, so then in class, we follow up on this by uh, potentially pro presenting problems that are related to the topics that were covered in the lecture. Uh, sorry, well, in the lecture that is presented in advance. And so they get this opportunity during class to work on related problems, and usually this comes in the form of group work, uh, where they get to both go deeper into the topic, doing this active kind of learning that they actually get to do in lab ordinarily that they have not had gotten quite enough of during lecture in the past. Uh, they get to learn from each other, and we get the opportunity, myself and my teaching assistants get the opportunity to walk around and really talk to the students about these topics and to uh, both get a sense of where their difficulties are and to help them to think through these more challenging problems.